self promote so today we are going to discuss mainly about scully so scully is a basically an autom a tool that allows you to automate anything that you see on the screen so let's discuss more about scully so what exactly is a scully scully basically uses an image recognition to automate anything that we see on a screen for example there is a particular login page that you want to automate and scully you can just use those uh, screenshots and just put the particular text in it and you can just and you can do a uh, login using that thing you can just automate that login part in your regression test or maybe in that functional test cases that you want to test so it's very useful when there is a no source code available for ad for example we like in a black box testing we don't have a much source code available so we can just automate whatever we, whatever we see on a screen for our beneficial purpose or maybe a regression part as a regression part so scully can perform variety of operations like uh, it can click on a particular image it can just type anything that you want for a particular in a particular text input box it can just paste certain things and it can do many more things many more actions uh, so scully can work with a programming language like python using the jython as a bridge and ruby and java as an event event dependency so basically scully is built on Uh, so, build on a particular open CV, and uh, it's mainly the part developed in Java. And right now, uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss mainly how we can just write particular test cases using Python. And if you want to, uh, if you want to have that in Java also, I will discuss that thing also in the upcoming tutorials. Let's. So let's discuss about where Scully can be used. So Scully can be used, for example, if you have a in your office maybe in your uh, maybe you have made a particular website and you want to do a new regression for that thing so you can just uh, automate a particular task in it and you, it will do that for you you can you can use or uh, you can also do certain functional testing also and uh, i have seen like certain videos in which uh, people have audit, already automated the particular games and a gui apps in scully so it's a very wonderful tool that can that, that allows you to automate anything that you see on a screen so let's start with the hello world program and so before that uh, we have to install the scully in our local machine right so uh, you can just install java and J if you want if you want to have jdk also you can just install jdk but if you, you want if you want to install java only you can just go to it. so let me show you where you can just go to it so you can just go to the java.com slash en slash download and you can just install the using this button free java install and then install the java in your particular local machine and if you want to verify just put, just open your terminal and you can just type java inversion and it will tell you exactly sorry for that thing it's a single one yeah so it will so right now i have using 1.8 as 1.8 java so you can just you uh, use whatever java you i will I will say that you can just use 1.8 and above. It will give you more detail. It's uh, very much compatible with Scully right now. Okay. So, second part will be installing the Scully. Uh, you can just go to a particular link. I will tell you that this is the direct link. Uh, Launchpad.net uh, slash Scully slash download. And uh, I'll suggest you to download the Scully X setup rather than the simple Scully. So, Scully X is another another upcoming uh distribution for the scully where they have introduced certain new functions uh in in the scully x so i'll so we'll so i will be mainly using the scully x setup and if you want to uh, go with the 1.0.1 version you can just go with it so after you have downloaded i'll show you how exactly it's look like so when you have downloaded you will get a this jar file it's a simple jar file scully x uh you can just uh what you can do if you have already installed java you can just double tap double click on it and it will open it will open a setup file for you it will open a setup particularly setup things for you so right now it has opened for me and it will open this window for you so uh what what i'll suggest to you is that so it's already telling me that okay i am using a java 8 and the setup will be in this folder so you can just click on first part pack 1 right now we are uh, right, right now for the hello world program we will using scully ide for that thing 
and you can just click on setup now and it will set up for everything just click yes 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 uh, so right now i will not do for you and uh, right now i will not uh, show you the that part also just click yes 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 and it will do that for you and everything for everything that you see i think that's really important so let me show you how exactly it look like when it's done yeah so after that it's all installed it will give you the set uh, this api file along with the run scully as well as scully id link so it's a basically an app uh, app type profile if you are on a windows you can just you will you will get a particularly uh, this file run run scully x exc and uh, maybe it's a cmd i believe yeah it's a cmd and you can just click on it and it will open a scully id so right now i have already installed this uh, already installed the scully id so i will just search for it and i have already in my yeah so it will open this window so this is a basically in scully id and we can just work around with it and so right now i will show you how we can just write a simple hello world program in that thing or maybe just we can we will just verify a simple thing uh, okay so we'll start with this uh, so first of all uh, this is a main menu bar if you are seeing new and all and these are the already for pre made functions if you can see uh, find a window find window particularly settings mouse actions keyboard actions and all so we will be using in the next up upcoming tutorial so let, let's let's do one thing so first of all let's click somewhere okay so i'll click on this thing and it will give me an option to capture a particular image okay so let's say i want to click somewhere okay and i want to click on this link right so i'll just do this thing this thing and what i will do is that i'll do is that uh i'll say okay so right now this is already in a click one so i'll just say save as and i'll save this as a particular test so right now i will not be saving it as thing okay test one okay and save okay so you can just run using this uh, black run button and if i run it it will just click on that thing it will highlight this thing and click on it and if you can see it's already clicked so right it's not a particularly button so it so it's not responding to that thing so what we will do is that we'll do a simple thing and uh, we'll do what what we'll do one second so we will delete that thing and we again will just click or click and right now i'll click on this jar file to download it right yeah so i'll just click on this thing so that we can just down automate the downloading part of the scully setup and i'll just uh, run it and and as you can see my mouse will automatically move and it will click on it right and it has already clicked on this thing and and downloading will start in a couple of thing, couple of time right so if you want to escape from the right now so as you can see here yeah so it's already telling me here in this console that okay i have highlighted the particular thing and i have a click option so that's that's a basically a simple uh, hello world program i can say and in the in the upcoming tutorial what we are going to discuss let me show you that thing also so in the upcoming tutorial we are going we are going to write a ui, UI regression test cases with a python in which we are going to use the html runner to generate reports in html format as well as we'll use xml runner to generate reports in xml format so that we can use that uh, scully project and scully project to automate for a large scale we, we will running that scully project use in the jenkins and generating reports to show that in a queue okay thanks guys hope you like that video and hit like and all and we'll in the upcoming tutorial i'll show you the second part also right thank you thanks guys